As president of the International Civil Servants Associations, or FIXA, I'd like to convey to everyone watching the best wishes from all our members on the occasion of the 1st of May, a day celebrated by all workers around the world. Thank you for inviting us to celebrate with you, even though this year many of us are confined to our homes with no access to our normal workplaces. FIXA is a federation of 86 member staff associations and unions from 13 countries across the globe. On behalf of our members, we represent the voices of over 42,000 international civil servants from the United Nations Common System and from other international organisations. For over 70 years now, we've defended the rights of our members at the highest levels of the United Nations Administration and have worked to ensure equitable conditions of service as well as to protect and maintain our members' working and employment conditions. Like all of you, we've recently had to rapidly adapt to new ways of working with the vast majority of our members working for, from home for the first time. One priority for us right now is to keep all channels of communication open to ensure that our members know how to flag important issues that we need to raise at higher levels, as well as how they can continue to provide us with their constant feedback. Big issues for us at this moment include the physical and mental health of staff, access to quality healthcare, including medical evacuation, as well as the impact of COVID-19 on currency exchange rates and therefore on our take-home pay. In some of our duty stations, we're now starting to look at a staggered return to work process. While this is a welcome development, it's also a worrying time for us as we strive to protect the health and well-being of our members without any relevant prior experience. We're all going through a steep learning curve and that will require considerable stock taking once the current situation has passed. One learning experience we will take from this situation is that the future for many of us will include teleworking as well as the increased use of technology. Online meetings with our colleagues are now a must and will probably continue to be a normal way of working in the future. We need to learn about the impacts of these ways of working, particularly for a workforce like ours, which is scattered across the globe. Irrespective of where we are in the world or who we represent, the extraordinary circumstances we find ourselves in these days calls for a special virtual May Day celebration. We're grateful for the opportunity to join our voices to yours in these unusual times. In solidarity, on behalf of our Federation, I wish you and your loved ones, above all else, a safe and healthy virtual May Day celebration. And we look forward to better days ahead.